Welcome back to Bible True Stories. I'm Teacher Faith, and I will be your storyteller for today. Our story is about Abraham and Sarah's surprise. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, is anything too hard for the Lord to do? Noah's eldest son, Shem, had hundreds of descendants born many years later. One was named Abram. Abram was a righteous man who married a beautiful woman named Sarai. One day, the Lord spoke to Abram and said, Leave your country, your family, and neighbors, and go to a land I will show you. There I will bless you and make you into a great nation. Abraham obeyed the Lord and set out on a journey with his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot. One night, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, Look up at the night sky and count the stars. One day, your family shall number more than that. Kids, can you count the stars in the sky? Do you know how many stars are there in the sky? Abraham was very puzzled by what the Lord had said for he and Sarai were growing old and had no children. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him again and said, Abram, I make this promise to you. You will be called the father of many nations, and you shall be called Abraham, and your wife shall be called Sarah. For I will bless her with a son, and you will call his name Isaac. Now we'll give to you and your children this land. I will care for you and be your God. Abraham laughed and said, How can a son be born to people our age? Remember, kids? Sarah and Abraham were really old. Sarah overheard what the Lord had said to her husband, and she too laughed and laughed. <laughs> How can this be? She giggled. But the Lord heard her laughter and said, is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return next year and you, Sarah, will have a son. When Abraham was 100 years old, Sarah had a little baby boy named Isaac, just as God had promised. Our Bible truth for today is... There is nothing too hard for the Lord to do. Say it again with me, kids. There is nothing too hard for the Lord to do. 